Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more City Skylines, returning to Spin City, where every intersection is a roundabout. And in between videos, I was taking a look at how things are doing in the city. So we're kind of running a little short on electricity. Water's doing okay, but it might need an upgrading soon-ish. Trash services is one thing, though, that I'm a little bit concerned about. Because right now, we're emptying this landfill, but it's at 46% uh, full. We've got one over here that's 96% full. And then another one that's 85% full. And then my uh, incineration plants are pretty full as well. So I'm starting to think I need to upgrade my trash services, which this will, in a way, also address the power situation. So I'm thinking about putting the other incineration plant somewhere over here. Hopefully we'll have that reach. We have water. Okay, we should be good there. Matter of fact, I don't think I need this power line anymore. We can get rid of that ugly thing. Alright, so that should help a little bit. I would eventually like to get rid of these old landfills if I can. But for now, we're just going to have to let this one empty. And hopefully, this guy over here will fill up with that trash. And will be golden. Now, other than that, we can take a look at traffic. Well, we've got some red, but uh, as long as we don't have backup traffic... For a second, I thought the trees were backed up traffic, and I was a little worried there. Um, we should be good. So this one looks the most red, but I don't really see backed up traffic. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this intersection because there's a lot going on here. And uh, hopefully we don't have any issues here. I do see this is pretty red as well. Ooh, here's a bunch of backed up traffic. So I did get rid of this street because I was assuming that we could get away with it. I'm not sure if that's really the case. Another route I could make here is a diagonal from here to here. Might be tricky with the uh, power plant. I might have to curve it around, but... This is definitely slowed down. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and make that change. So... We're going to need another route here. Well, problem is, though, I have a lot of bus, bus routes going through here, so... Matter of fact, where's one of my buses, I think, there? Hmm. Not sure how fixable that is going to be. I was hoping with the fact that this didn't have anything queued, that it wouldn't be so bad, but look at this. Now, these are cars that are parked, right? Yeah. Out of curiosity, we don't have anything coming up and down here as far as a bus, huh? Huh, okay. I didn't know that was the case. I almost feel like I want to alter the bus route that goes up and down the middle then because I don't have any coverage here, but... Hmm. All right, well, that's something I'll keep an eye on for now. I would like to continue to expand over here. And to do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and queue this up for some shopping. Which might be the wrong choice, actually, because my shopping is having a little bit of issues with education, right? That's the, uh... Yeah, not enough educated workers. But you have the shopping demand, so... Hmm. Well, let it go for now. I'm trying to... You know what, never mind. I don't want to have to 
play this uh, bulldoze game. I'm trying to get power over here, and I'm trying to think of the best way to do that. I could wait until I can afford some of the services I want over here, because we are not quite doing that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the loans that I can get. I can get 20 grand. That's not really going to do much for me. Outside of maybe helping me to pay off this loan, and then I can take the 60 grand loan. Considering I'm making eight grand a week, I think maybe I can afford to be a little bit patient here, and we'll keep an eye on the traffic situation here while we let things kind of play out. The curious thing to me, though, is shouldn't the bus be using the bus lane? I mean, that's the whole purpose of having the bus lane. I mean, it uses it at that point, but then it just goes over with the rest of the traffic. may have to get rid of this entire street. What do we got here? A coal power plant? I'm thinking I have to get rid of this this street here. Because it's causing a lot of issues. Problem is my prison is there. definitely torn about this street because I hate the traffic situation right now, but I don't know a surefire way to fix that. And I do have buses stopping in here. Alright, well, I can afford some of the services over here now. So, let's go ahead and take a look. We've got... Fire and... Police forces needed over here. I think fire would probably be important because it will give double coverage to the industry over here. Because if I put it here... I'll get that overlapping coverage. Alter alternatively, I won't get the coverage I need over here. Man, this is annoying. Looks like I'm going to have a hard time reaching that far part of the neighborhood no matter what I do. So, I'll go ahead and put my fire station in. Right about there. And that should allow me to bring power over. We did water all this up. Yep, okay. And then maybe I'll put my police station over here uh, to expand over that way. How many? 156 weeks. Okay, well, that's going to take a while to pay off. Well, at this point, I think I'm just going to have to be patient. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on this traffic situation. Kind of think about how I'm going to address it. Because this is... It's, I mean, it's looking okay now. But you'll have times when traffic is not so bad. And you'll have times when it's bad. So... Matter of fact, I have no backed up traffic right now. Again, it's just something that I'm going to have to keep my eye on. 
But most of the rest of the intersections seem to be doing okay. We have a little bit of stoppage here. And again, I think killing this street here would solve a lot of the problems. It just, for me, if I were to kill this street, first I have to move a couple things, which I'm not a fan of. Secondly, I'm really having very inefficient use of space here. Which, again, is a consequence of having roundabouts be every inter intersection. It seems like it's okay when you have residential neighborhoods because they don't have the, si the kind of traffic patterns that industry has. But when you have in industry ca concentrated in an area, you're just having insane levels of uh, traffic in that area. And uh, it's definitely problematic, to say the least. All right, well, anyway, it's, it's doing okay now. As a matter of fact, it's over here that we're going to back up traffic now. All right, so this trash over here is uh, full, so we got to start emptying it. And let me take a look at my trash services again. No, not pollution. Trash. And see how this guy's doing here. Oh, nowhere near full. Matter of fact, it looks like... Doing a lot better here. So that I could probably afford to empty this guy. How are we doing over here? The sooner this guy gets empty, the sooner I can get rid of it. And then I'll think about moving my prison. And then I guess I might want to take this street out. Because it is causing a lot of issues. Uh, for sure. I'd prefer not to have to take that street out. But I don't think I have a choice here. Traffic is just a little too intense in some of these intersections here. Although it's fine right now. But again, you can't count on... Just one very specific period of time. You gotta wait and you gotta see how things develop. Alright, well we got more services. Time for some police services over here. We're gonna nice headquarters. That should cover most of the area. Okay, now it's time to start zoning some residential here. Now there's not a lot of demand for it, but I really don't care. You know what, we'll, we'll take our time with this. There is a demand for industry, and we're actually not having the issues we had before with not having enough work. As a matter of fact, it looks like I'm starting to have issues with the industry not having enough educated workers. Let's take a look at our education, just see how that's doing. So, elementary school, we're doing just fine. We might have some issues reaching particular neighborhoods. But it looks like for the most part, we've got coverage where there are neighborhoods. High schools. Again, we're not getting the capacity we need. And then universities were doing just fine as far as capacity. So it looks like high schools need upgraded again. Um... So I might use that as a way to bridge, like, uh, the gap for electricity again so I can work into another neighborhood. So maybe I'll put a high school over here somewhere. And that should help with getting the capacity a little bit better. Alternatively, I could put a high school over here somewhere.
What is this building here? Fire station. Then we have a police station here. Alright, well we can't afford a high school yet. But I might think about putting one over here. Alright, well anyway. I was thinking about zoning some more industry. And I'm going to continue with the farm industry because... I already have the area set up for that. Alright, so we're having whack-a-mole with some of the businesses here. Because of the lack of educated workers, which I'm going to be working on here. Matter of fact, how much does it cost for a high school? We should be able to afford one now. And I was planning on putting one. Because we have a lot of density of homes over here. I was planning on putting one over here. So, let's see if we can find a spot. That looks about right... About right about there. There we go. That should definitely help. Door to bulldoze here, fortunately. Filling in nicely over here. I'm going to go ahead and zone this on up too. And then I'm going to wait on it for a while to see... How the demand for workers is affected. pretty well as far as the budget's concerned. So I'm going to take a look at Okay. Maybe we need some parks. Been a little bit behind on that. Probably have a lot of areas where we're not really covering anything with parks. And we could probably afford some more expensive parks. Oh, Bouncy Castle, all right. Carousel Park, that looks interesting. We'll put that over by the high school over here. Seems like it doesn't really go very well with a high school, but... <laughs> I'll put it over here because I don't know how much coverage I have of parks over here. We'll put it right next to whatever this building is. That's our hospital. So we've got a nice carousel next to our hospital. <laughs> okay. And do a couple other parks here. So we don't have really anything overly large. I'm gonna put a playground. Matter of fact, high school's over there, huh? Let's have time pass a little bit here while we do this. I kind of want to cover... I'll put it in here, though. 
This will cover a decent chunk of the neighborhoods that are in here. Be right next to the high school. Then a Japanese garden. We'll put in by the industry. Ah, never mind. All right. That's at least something. Looks like we're doing okay with the zoning over here, so we'll just zone up a little bit more. We have fire coverage. We don't have health coverage yet, so I do want a hospital. At some point. Alright, bulldoze time. Alright, how is the traffic situation looking now? Okay, we've got a little bit of slowdown over here. Which we've seen before. It's these two areas. Yeah, it's the same two areas. I'm, I'm telling you, it's this diagonal road. we got to get rid of it. This guy's almost empty, so when we get this fully emptied, I think that's the time to make the move. Alright, so we're now at Big City. We've got the crematorium and water treatment, so we're going to want both of those things pretty much immediately. Crematorium is going to really help with death services. As a matter of fact, that's not something I've actually taken much of a look at. Uh, that would be under health, death care. So how are we doing? Cemetery usage is only 26%. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead, grab myself a crematorium here. And... We don't have very good coverage over in this neighborhood. So if I put something over here... I don't think these cause pollution or anything, so... You know what, I'll worry about that a little bit later. What I would like instead... Is some water treatment plants here. And I think I'm going to get rid of... The old sewage systems. Out of curiosity, it does tell me how much... Water that does... Drainage capacity looks like 120,000, 160,000. So this is going to be costly, but it'll get rid of the pollution in the river, which I really am not a fan of. So I'll just get rid of all of the sewage treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that we've done that, Let's just go ahead and bulldoze these water lines for now because I'm not exactly sure we're going to be on that anyway. Alright, so we got that. Got that. Just draw the water. Connections here. There we go. I should have just bulldozed that whole line because it's just messy. Apparently, I'm going to have to 
draw my power over. Come on, sewage treatment. Come on, line. There you go. All right, perfect. That will help clean up the river. I mean, you see all this junk going out that way. This will get rid of that. Make the uh, rivers pretty again. All right, so we've got 64,000. We're almost a, a bit able to afford a hospital. I just would like to use it as a, a bridge for power, but I guess we don't necessarily need to do that because we could use this neighborhood as a nice bridge for power. But I would like to use it to like bridge power from here to there, for instance. If I can. But of course, I need to have better residential demand than what I have right now, which of course I have very little. Yeah, and see, as I thought, I mean, we've got pretty significant industrial demand, but look at this. I put these guys in and they're all looking for workers. If I put any more in, it'd be pretty much the same thing. I mean, just even worse. Not enough workers. It could be the type of industry that I'm building, but uh, I was having that same problems with uh, this industry too. So as much as the industry demand is there, it's, you know, we need, uh, oh, we have office zones. I didn't realize we had office zones. Well, that's gonna help quite a bit, actually. I'm gonna put our office zone. Do we have water here? Yes, we do. I'm gonna put an office zone over here. Let's see if what we get out of this. I mean, that might be some of my industrial demand right there. But I definitely missed uh, the fact that I could build offices. That's actually going to help, I think, quite a bit. Let's go ahead and speed things up. I didn't realize we were on speed one. I think maybe that uh, getting that achievement point probably did that to some extent. And this might be a problem traffic-wise in the future because of this diagonal path here. All right, what did the, what did the little guy here say? Ah, whatever. All right, so that did drop the industrial demand. So I'm assuming people were looking for office jobs. All right, and hopefully that allows me to come in here and queue up some of this so we can start bridging over here. All right, so these guys are getting worker. Oh, I zoomed in. Never mind. <laughs> All right, the offices are filling in pretty nicely. Probably going to use the offices as kind of my outskirts of the industrial zone. To wall it off from my residential areas. Oh, look at that mess. What's going on here? I'm just going to dezone this whole mess here. As a mess, it definitely is. And we'll go ahead and rezone that. But I want to bulldoze all the buildings in here, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. There's there's just certain spots where things are a little broke. That should have fixed it.
All right, well, I think this is a good point for me to put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.